Hi, today we're going to be naming a cycloalkane with a couple of substituents on it. So, like any of our naming, we're first going to name the parent chain, and then second we will name and number the substituents. So first of all, for the parent chain, I want to count the number of carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that tells me that this is hex. I look at the bonding in the ring, and I see that it's all single bonds. So therefore, it's ane. So that's six carbons and they're all single bonds. And then I also notice that it's a ring, so I'm going to add on to that that this is cyclohexane. Next up I want to um, name and number the substituents. So I look here and I see that this is one carbon, which means it's meth, and it's a substituent, so it gets the YL methyl. Here I have two carbons, so this needs F as the root, and then O because it's a substituent. Next, I want to figure out how to number these substituents. So on a ring, you always want to give one substituent the priority of having the number one on it. Um, so say I could number one, two, three. I want to keep the numbers as small as possible, so that's why I would count um, clockwise there. Now, I also want to always check the reverse ordering for the numbers. So if this was substituent one, one, two, three. This gives me two options for numbering here. I could have one methyl and 3 ethyl, or I could have 3 methyl and 1 ethyl. How do I choose? Well, here's the rule. First, we give the substituents the smallest possible numbers, which we determined were 1 and 3 here. And then second, if the numbers can be counted in two ways, 1, 2 versus 2, 1, the earlier letter gets the smaller number. So in this case, what that means is I'm going to take um, the ethyl, which is the E, or earlier number, and it's going to get the 1. So I have 1 ethyl. And it comes first when I'm writing the name as well, because we always put um, the earlier letter first in the name. 1 ethyl dash 3 dash methyl cyclohexane. And there we have it.